Hello all. Let's talk about nanomaterials and nanotechnology in this particular video. Nanomaterials are materials with dimensions in between 1 to 100 nanometers and making use of that nanomaterials for various kinds of applications is nothing but the nanotechnology. Nanomaterials. Nanomaterials are the materials who are having one of the their dimensions in the range of nanometer. Nanometer, uh, if we talk about their conversion into meter scale, then that will be the 10 to the power minus 9 meter. So, 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Materials who are having their dimensions in that range are considered as the nanomaterials. Uh, here some of the examples of nanomaterials are provided like carbon nanotubes, fullerenes, nano, metal nanoparticles, quantum dot. These are the examples of nanomaterials. Nanomaterials are uh, divided into different categories based upon their dimensions. Like if uh, for a material, uh, all the dimensions are in the nanoscale, then that is considered as the zero dimensional nanomaterial. If one of the dimension is in the nanoscale, then that will be the uh, one dimensional nanomaterial. Like that, there will be two dimensional and three dimensional uh, nanomaterials. Uh, here, from these examples, we may say nano nanoparticles, basically metal nanoparticles, are considered as the zero dimensional nanomaterials. Whereas carbon nanotubes or conducting polymer nanowires, those are one dimensional nanomaterials. Let's talk about the properties of nanomaterials. First, we are going to see the chemical property of the materials. Uh, nanomaterials are seem to have high chemical reactivity as compared to their bulk counterparts. The reason is that they are having high surface area to volume ratio uh, at the nanoscale. And that is the reason we may see high amount of chemical reactivity in case of nanomaterials. At the same time, metal nanoparticles like platinum or palladium, they, are, they shows high amount of catalytic behavior. At the same time, uh, nanomaterials, their surfaces are capable to have the addition of or they can be modified with various kinds of chemical groups uh, which can uh, have more amount of specific interactions with other entities. So functionalization is the one of the uh, parameter uh, when we talk about the chemical properties of material. Now let's see electrical properties. Uh, at the nanoscale, the electrical conductivity of materials will be higher one and that will increase its chemical properties. Uh, to have high amount of chemical properties, there are certain parameters which are having high impact. Uh, one of the thing is quantum tunneling. Uh, electron can pass through potential barriers, which is not possible in the bulk counterparts. And that is the reason high amount of conduction will be possible through nanomaterial. Next to that, it is having nanomaterials are having discrete energy levels, uh, and uh, basically, uh, due to that, only they are having they, that affect the conducting behavior of the materials. Also, they have a, they are having high surface conductivity because whatever are the charge carriers, those are on the faces or surfaces, so they contribute more in electrical properties. And uh, that's why we may say as a conclusion that uh, electrical properties of nanomaterials as compared to their bulk counterparts are having high amount of significance. Now let's see optical properties. Uh, nanomaterials are, uh, sh shows unique optical behaviors due to their small size and high surface area to volume ratio. Uh, next to that, they are having the quantum confinement, which leads to have uh, changes in the energy band gap. And therefore, the absorption or emission of the light uh, will be different for the nanomaterials, which increases their optical properties, of course. Uh, then one of the important thing is that quantum materials or nanomaterials, they are having, they uh, 
shows different kinds of colors or emit different kinds of colors depending upon their size so if we talk about the gold material of course it is golden or yellowish in appearance but if we see the uh, nano material of the gold in some transparent uh, liquid or something like that you will see it is having the red or pinkish color so depending upon the particle size the emission of color will be different in case of nanomaterials now mechanical properties uh, as compared to bulk counterparts it is seen that nanomaterials are having superior mechanical properties uh, as size decreases uh, the mechanical properties like uh, plasticity elasticity hardness toughness of the material will get increased uh, we know nanomaterials due to their small size they are light in weight nanomaterials provide high strength while remaining extremely light and that is the reason they are ideal for aerospace and automotive applications they are having high strength and hardness uh, due to the absence of defects and grain boundaries nanomaterials like carbon nanotubes have exceptional tensile strength then as i have mentioned there will be the huge amount of elasticity in the material uh, certain nanostructures exhibit excellent flexibility and can return to their original shape after deformation so in each part we may say there will be the uh, superior mechanical properties in case of nanomaterials let's talk about the electrochemical properties uh, it is seen uh, that seen that nano materials are having uh, enhanced electrochemical properties uh, basically they are used for high charge storage capacity uh, because of their large surface area they can store more amount of charges uh, basically in uh, applications like sensors nano materials are uh, show improved detection capability due to their high surface activity so enhanced sensitivity is one of the parameter with respect to electrochemical properties and last not, but not the least that it is having the fast electron ion transport capability uh, nanostructures shorten the diffusion paths improving charge and discharge rates and that's why high amount of uh, charge transport will be possible through nanomaterials let's talk about the applications of nanomaterials first application uh, we will talk about in the medical field uh, for various kinds of diseases uh, if uh, targeted drug delivery is expected then nanomaterials uh, nanoparticles are used uh, one example is provided here like in case of cancers uh, nanoparticles deliver drugs directly to the cancer related cells so targeted drug delivery is possible with the nanomaterials as i mentioned in cancer therapy uh, this could be used with a large amount and in diagnostic to have various kinds of detections or imaging nanomaterials are used so various kinds of um, medical treatment are done with the help of nanomaterials also they are having applications in the electronics field like qled tvs or uh, nano wire transistors and in flexible electronics nano materials are used in a large amount also they are having applications in the energy field uh, so in case of solar cells the fabrication is done with the Uh, nano materials and it has been seen that efficiency of the solar cell is increased in a light, la large amount at the same time in the making of electrochemical batteries uh, nano materials could be used and also it is seen that the better capacity is observed if we include nano materials in the fabrication also in fuel cell catalysts uh, the use of uh, nano materials is done in a large amount nano materials are also used in the textile industry uh, smart fabrics which can monitor different parameters of the body like temperature stress chemical changes can be uh, fabricated with the help of nano materials 
then uh, it is if we include nanomaterials in the fabrication of textile then it may give you antimicrobial uh, properties so for one example is provided here silver nanoparticles are integrated into fabrics to resist bacteria and odors also uh, the inclusion of nanomaterials in the textile will give you the water and stain resistance which will improve the durability and uh, hydrophobic nature of the fabric so uh, making a fabric smart or uh, stain or water resistance nanomaterials in nanomaterials are used in the textile industry then in uh, cosmetics also nanomaterials are used in a large amount like we know the sunscreen lotions they are having the zinc oxide or titanium oxide and nanoparticles uh, which are used to uh, protect our skin with the uv radiations next to that in anti aging products nano carriers deliver active ingredients deep into the skin uh, then there are certain kind of soft skin uh, skin creams which includes the nano materials and which will give you the effectiveness of the vitamins and antioxidants also for the hair care uh, like in shampoos or conditioners nano particles will give you uh, the better performance Uh, one of the sector in which nanomaterials are used uh, in a large amount is the agricultural sector in that uh, in to increase the yield uh, nano pesticides or fertilizers which are having the nano particles are used in a large amount in the seed treatment also uh, to enhance germination and crop yield uh, the inclusion of nano materials is done then uh, to detect various kinds of conditions with respect to the plants like plant diseases soil conditions or pesticide received receives in real time the various kinds of sensors could be used and that sensors are having the use of nanomaterials so nanomaterials are very much useful in the agricultural field next application is provided here is the environment protection uh, to uh, purify the water air or soil nano materials are used in a, a large amount uh, nano filters and nano materials remove heavy metals pathogens and toxins from the water and that's why they are useful Uh, TiO2 nanoparticles degrade pollutants and various kinds of uh, volatile organic compounds which are present in the air atmosphere so air purification is also possible with nano materials then uh, in uh, basically uh, soil uh, whatever are the uh, contaminations like heavy metal contaminations or any other so for their detection uh, various kinds of environmental sensors are used and uh, like that we may see the applications of nano materials in the environmental protection next and last application of nano materials which is provided in the video is in the use of nano materials in the automotive or industrial space so uh, in automobiles generally uh as a lubricant or to have the different kinds of coating fuel additives or whatever are the automobiles in their uh batteries and super capacitors are fabricated with the help of nanomaterials like i have mentioned lubricants um, in which if you use use nanoparticles then it enhances the performance and Uh, reduces wear and tear of the components then uh, scratch resistance or corrosion resistance coatings are possible with the help of uh, nano materials uh, nano materials improve the comb combustion efficiency in engines that's why they are used as a fuel additives and they are so used as a batteries and capacitors which are used in electrodes to improve the energy storage capacity so uh, 
In this video, I have given you the idea about the nanomaterials, nanotechnology and uh, properties and applications of the nanomaterials in a short. So thank you for your patience listening. If you are having any kind of doubt, put that in the comment boxes. Thank you. Thank you very much.